hey guys welcome back to my channel guys so in today's video we're actually going to do my bedroom tour a couple of months ago i ended up doing like a complete bedroom makeover and i want to finally show you guys exactly what i did to my bedroom if you are new here my name is imani i do things all home makeovers home installation and home decorating and if you like that kind of content don't forget to subscribe before you leave out and if you're a returning subscriber then hey y'all welcome back to my channel guys so guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video You first walk into my room the first thing you'll see is this wall right here and i end up getting this frame from the goodwill and i just printed out a quote from google and it says rise and grind with a black frame i thought this was super cute so i put this right here when you first walk into the room so that's the first thing that you see and then when you look up and look straight ahead that's when you'll see my curtains And then we're going to turn over here and this is where I have my bed. So I'm just giving you guys a overview of everything. We can start with this side of the room. So guys, I end up getting this dresser right here from Ikea and I love this dresser. It is so gorgeous. It's like a brown black color and what I did was I ended up getting some knobs from Amazon and then I just end up putting the same knobs that's on my nightstands that I end up DIYing. And then on my dresser, what I have is I have a candle holder that I end up getting from Ross with a silver candle. And these are so gorgeous. I love these. I've had them for a while now. Super pretty. And then over here, I just have my roses from Rose Forever. And then I just put like a little like cake stand up under it just to add some height. I think that definitely makes it look a lot more grand. And then over here, I have my jewelry box that I end up getting from the Goodwill. It's a really good deal. And I believe this jewelry box was like $8. It's super cute and it's all mirror. Then I just have the same candle holder on the other side. And then the mirror right here. I end up getting the mirror from TJ Maxx. And the mirror was I believe $29.99. Okay. So I have this mirror right here. I end up getting this mirror from Walmart. And the mirror was actually, I believe it was like 126 and it's 70 inches tall and 27 inches wide. And then I just have my curtain panels over there and they're 95 inches long. And then guys, we'll turn this way and this is basically like the vocal point of my room. So starting with the rug, I end up getting the rug from Amazon and I believe the rug size is, I think this is a 7x10 and I love this rug guys. It is literally like so soft, like I love it and I love that it basically covers up under the whole bed and then like I said, it covers up a good amount of my bedroom so I love that. This rug retailed, I think it was like, like 126 or something like that. It wasn't really too bad. Let's go ahead and start with my bed. So right here, um, I have a vase that I got from Burlington. And this vase was, I believe, $9. This vase was like $9. It was super cute. And um, it's just like a silver vase with some little white flowers. And then I just end up putting some little books up under there and this candle right here I got from home goods and it's by sensational bold and it's a coconut blend wax candle and it was $6.99 I love this black and white candle I think it's so elegant and it just fits the space perfectly and then I just have this candle holder that I got from Ross and it was five dollars and the tray that everything is sitting on guys I end up getting this tray from home goods and it's like a mirror tray, very, very beautiful. And I believe this was $29.99. This throw right here, very, 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 very cozy throw. 
it's like a velour well it's 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 like a it's like a um, mink throw and i end up getting this throw from i believe it was tj maxx and it was 18.99 so i thought this throw was super beautiful and it's like super long so beautiful like look at the like it's so beautiful like you can just tell it's super soft so um it just adds such a luxe feel to the bed super cute and i got that from tj maxx and my comforter right here guys is a duvet and i got my comforter from i got the comforter from home goods and then i got the duvet insert from amazon and it's super soft like i love it so much it's super soft and i just folded it right there and yeah so i got the duvet from amazon and then i got the cover inside from home goods and it is a king duvet so it comes out very 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 large and it's just like you know and it kind of just like drapes over the bed i love that a lot so that's where i got my bedding from also guys the duvet was super cheap it was like 23 dollars was taxed it was like 25 26 dollars and then a comforter inside i ended up getting from um home goods and the comforter was about 39 dollars so all my pillow covers actually came from amazon the white ones and the black ones and this pillow right here in the front this um like rhinestone pillow i actually ended up getting from home goods and i believe it was 29.99 and then my pillows i ended up getting from goodwill all my downy pillows for like four dollars and then the pillow covers was like five or six dollars a piece and that's where i end up getting my pillows and my pillow covers from and they're all like a they're all like a like a velour like a um like a suede material this just have like little like edges on it and this one doesn't but they're all like the same material very very beautiful and this is the pillow that i end up getting from home goods this pillow is so gorgeous guys like seriously it's so beautiful like oh my goodness and then the back is like gray like a gray velour yeah so i thought that was super pretty like i had to get this like i think this pillow definitely um elevated the space for sure and it's so gorgeous And my platform bed was, I believe, like 230 something. And it's a full size bed. And I love like the tufted look. It's very classic. I love it a lot. And then it just has like these like um nail head trims on it that really gives it a very luxe, very elegant look. So I love that as well. And it's all black and it's like a suede material. Super, super cute. And like I said, it is a platform bed. So let's go ahead and talk about this huge wall art in my room. So guys, basically I end up getting this wall art from Amazon. And basically what I did guys is I end up doing a wall mural and what I did was it was like six panels um, with this wall mural that I ended up finding on Amazon and I seen this very very gorgeous like flower wall mural and I was like oh this is perfect for my space it was just very elegant and I just thought it would really elevate my space completely and the wall was so big, I'm just like, I need this wall mural. So I ended up getting this wall mural from Amazon and I believe it was about $70. It's it's a little expensive <laughs> for six, but you guys, it definitely completes, it definitely makes over a whole entire space. So I definitely believe it's worth it. And then guys, what I did was I ended up putting two, I ended up putting two black strips of matte black wallpaper on the side just to give it more detail. And I just think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. 
especially with the black panels on the side it looks so beautiful and it comes all the way down okay so guys I have this pillow right here on the side I ended up getting this pillow actually from I believe it was Burlington and it's just like a cute shimmery pillow and it's actually by BB and then I just end up putting like a little black throw right here and it's like a little basket up under there just to kind of like have like a little throw with like a little pillow and stuff right there on the side. I thought that was super cute and I believe the pillow was on sale for like I think it was like $14 and then I end up getting a throw from Home Goods a while back. These mirrors right here I end up getting from Ross and they were $25. And I just end up putting the mirrors on the side instead of on the wall because I feel like the wall is already just art on its own. So I just end up putting a mirror on this side and then I end up putting the mirror on that side too as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the side nightstands. So if you guys do not know, basically I end up DIYing these nightstands and originally they came from Ikea and they were about, I believe like 30 something dollars a piece. And what I did was I ended up going to Lowe's, getting some mirrors and then I just ended up doing it over. It was like a complete, just like wood nightstand chest. And then I just ended up completely doing it over with Mira and also with some knobs that I ended up getting from Amazon. So that's what I did for the nightstands. And then guys, right here what I have is I have I have a candle holder that I end up getting from Home Goods and this candle holder was 12.99. It is so gorgeous. It's just like a glass candle holder. And then I end up getting this very gorgeous I end up getting this very gorgeous lamp from Home Goods and they came in a set and both were I believe $29.99 and they're so gorgeous like so pretty and then over here I just have two books and then I have a little silver vase that I end up getting from I think these came from look like Burlington for $9.99 and then I just put two books right here on them and I got both books from, I believe, the Goodwill. So that's what I have for my nightstand on the side. Basically, I have the exact same thing on this side, which I have two books and then I have some flowers with the same lamp and the same candle holder from Home Goods. And then this is the other mirror on the other side. Which the mirrors came from Ross. And guys, this, um, I wanted to show you guys a close-up of this curtain rod that I got. I ended up getting this curtain rod from Home Goods, and it just has like a crystal handle on each side. I thought these were super beautiful, and I thought they went with the space perfectly. So I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of how those look up there. And like I said, I have three panels of curtains and they are 95 inches long and then I hung them all the way up to the ceiling like I said the mirror was about $126 